Hey everybody, welcome to Mr. Orm's classroom. In today's lesson, what we're going to be learning about are the components that make up a map. The components tell us valuable information about the map to help us better understand how to read the map. The first thing we're going to take a look at is the title. The title tells what it is that you're looking at on a particular map. In this case, you're looking at Mr. Orm's classroom. We'll also be taking a look at what's known as the legend or key, which gives us valuable information about symbols found on a map. We'll also be taking a look at a compass rose. The compass rose tells us the four basic directions of north, south, east, and west. So let's take a look at the compass rose. The compass rose can be defined as a star looking symbol on a map indicating the cardinal directions. Hey, wait a second. I said cardinal directions. The cardinal directions are the basic directions of north, south, east, and west. These directions make up what are known as the cardinal directions. The compass rose also tells us about intermediate directions. Intermediate directions are the directions that are directly in between the cardinal directions. These can be characterized as northeast, southeast, southwest, and southwest, and northwest. Those are what make up the intermediate directions. Next, we'll be taking a closer look at the legend or the key. Upon closer investigation, the legend or key tells us what particular symbols on a map mean. The first symbol here on the left, the brown box, those are actually student tables. The blue eggs, those are actually student chairs. And the four boxes here, well, they indicate the colors of miscellaneous objects found around the room, such as tables. Next, what we'll be taking a look at are lines of latitude. These are called parallels of latitude due to the fact that they run from east to west. If you look at the compass rows next to one of the lines, you'll notice that they're pointing in the same direction. When we define latitude, it can be defined as the following. Imaginary lines stretching around the world from east to west, measured by angles of degree. The most famous line of latitude is known as the equator, and this is found at parallel zero degrees. Next, what we'll be taking a look at are lines of latitude. Now, the difference between lines of latitude and lines of longitude are that lines of longitude actually run from north to south. Those can be indicated by the letters at the top of the picture. Now, longitude can be defined as the imaginary line stretching around the world from north to south, measured in angles of degrees, every line intersecting at the north and south pole. The most famous line of longitude is known as the prime meridian. The prime meridian stretches all the way around the world from the North Pole to the South Pole. When we put these two things together, we have what's known as a map grid. Taking a look at all of the lines and where they intersect will help us find our absolute or exact location on a map. So when we practice finding our seats, if you had had the number H5 and you followed H down to where 5 comes, that's where your seat would have been. Thanks for following along. Those are the basic components of a map. If you ever think about this, use Mr. Orm's Classroom as your model to help you understand particular maps. Thank you.